Hey everybody, Tyler Florence here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Wolf It Down Test Kitchen. Matt and I have got a great dish for you today. We're gonna put together a funky California version of Eggs Benedict, but we're gonna really kind of go into a 101 cooking method on how to perfectly poach an egg. Then we're also gonna show you how to make hollandaise from scratch and then put it all together in a really kind of fun, really gorgeous, super tasty brunch dish that I know you're gonna love. Welcome to Wolf It Down. You know, when it comes to Eggs Benedict, right? I mean, there's English muffins, yeah. right? And then there's bread that is pre-sliced in a bag to make sandwiches out of. And then there's this, right? Just really good, fantastic, artisanal, great sourdough bread. So we're gonna make some slices out of this, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil right on top, a little bit of salt, throw it in the oven, 350 degrees, and just kind of let this start to get nice and crunchy on top. Let's talk about hollandaise sauce, right? Because, you know, traditionally a hollandaise sauce is kind of complicated. You put it over a double boiler, you have to slowly drizzle in uh, the melted butter. It just, it's always been complicated until now. I really like a blender hollandaise or a food processor hollandaise. Those to me, the only way that I make hollandaise sauce at home because it's quick and easy and fast. A couple things you're gonna need. Hot butter, right? So this is um, eight ounces or half a pound of butter that's melted. Two teaspoons of smooth Dijon mustard. We've got two large eggs that we're gonna separate the yolks and the whites. We've got the juice of one lemon and we got uh, one teaspoon of salt. First things first, we're gonna separate the eggs. So we got a, a food processor here. Nice clean crack, separate with your thumbs and then drop the yolk in, boom. Juice of a whole lemon. How many gallons of hollandaise sauce do you think you've made in your day? Enough to swim in. <laughs> Take a big Easily. bath in. Right, a swimming pool is full of hollandaise sauce. There's yeah. no doubt about it. All right, so we got two full tablespoons. Dijon mustard, I, I think, is a really critical part of this particular recipe um, for two reasons. A, the flavor, mm -hmm. and then also mustard itself. If you've watched some of our videos in the past where we've made a French vinaigrette from scratch, we always use smooth Dijon mustard to act as an emulsifier to connect the oil and the vinegar together so it's so it's complete and one big product. And it's gonna do the same thing with a hollandaise sauce. Yes. Okay, and one teaspoon of salt. All right, and we're gonna drop this in and then give it a quick little pulse. Boom, boom, boom. When it's nice and smooth and incorporated, we're gonna slowly, slowly drizzle in all of our yummy melted butter. Look at the texture of this hollandaise sauce. Isn't that gorgeous, right? And that's gonna drape beautifully over top of our poached eggs. All right, boom, I think this is gorgeous. Let's check the bread. Perfect, nice toasty pieces, right? You wanna have some texture to it, so you got a little bit of crunch. These look fantastic. Okay, we're gonna make a hybrid of avocado toast and what would be a traditional Eggs Benedict, right? So we've got one nice ripe avocado. Gonna rock this right through the middle with our sharp knife and then give it a twist. And then we've exposed the pit. And now very, very carefully when you do this, take your sharp knife and just give it a little tap Give it a little twist, and then the pit comes out nice and clean. And then separate the avocado from the shell itself, and then just take the spoon and just put it all the way into the back of the shell. And it comes out super clean in one nice big piece. And we're just gonna just kind of mush this up a little bit. Add a little lemon to this, a little olive oil, salt, pepper, something nice and tasty. Perfect, love that, great. So crushed avocado, perfectly toasted toast. Hollandaise sauce, Dunzo, okay? Now, let's start talking about poached eggs. It's all about technique, and it's all about experience, right? What we have here is a pot of water that's not boiling. And I think that's the first thing you want to think about when you're poaching eggs, because boiling water will destroy the, the, the egg white itself, yeah. right? It'll boil apart, and what will happen is you'll make egg drop soup before the egg will poach. Yeah. And it'll start to rapidly rip apart. So I've got this thing set at 185 degrees, okay? So we're gonna add a little bit of salt to this and the salt's just gonna give it some flavor, right? So the yolk is not flat. And then we're gonna add a little splash of champagne vinegar to this, right? And the champagne vinegar is gonna help the egg whites set and also toughen the egg whites up enough where they'll hold up to the structure of poaching, okay? So swirling method. All right, we're gonna take our water here Give it a little swirl. And again, the swirl will start to let the egg whites collect on top of themselves. Kind of wrap, wrap around itself. Exactly, and it'll look like a little mozzarella ball. I'm just gonna drop that right in, boom, okay. All right, so check this out. So this is really important. You wanna make sure the water stays swirling in a swirling motion, right? So it doesn't stick to the bottom. And then the, the motion of the water itself will cause the egg whites to kind of fold on top of each other, right? And then it'll just kind of pull together like a lovely little ball of mozzarella cheese, right? Yeah. I think it's great, right? 
All right, so check it out. So the, the egg is perfectly cooked. Now what I'd like to do, what sometimes you'll get these like little drippy bits on the bottom, right, is I actually take both the spoon and the edge of the pan here and just kind of hard trim it, right? So you'll get like a really clean, perfectly poached egg. If you're just trying to sharpen up your skills in the kitchen, this is a great technique to master and learn because like pulling out Eggs Benedict's when you got company coming over for brunch is a baller thing to show off with and everybody really, really loves it. Let's make this pretty, folks. We got some radishes, chilies on top of this, serranos, chilies and eggs buddies, right? Here we go. We've got our avocado. Kind to give it a nice smear. Boom. Poached eggs. And then we're gonna top it off with our hollandaise. Isn't that beautiful, man? Look at that. Oh, come on. Brunch city, kids. I'm into it. Look how gorgeous that is. Beautiful radishes on top. Serranos. Korean chili flakes. Fresh basil leaves on top of this. And I think you've got like a really nice brunch dish, right? We got some great technique banged out today, folks. We showed you how to perfectly poach an egg. That's the big takeaway. We got a hollandaise sauce from scratch. That's great takeaway too. And then we put it in an awesome application of making kind of an interesting California version of Eggs Benedict. Are you ready for the poached egg pop? This is the moment of truth, right? So you've made this really kind of gorgeous Eggs Benedict from scratch. And then now you gotta pop the yolk, it's time. You ready? It's time. I'm gonna give you the honors, my friend. Okay. Yes. Oh yes, kids. Nice and slow. Shoot not in slow motion. The perfectly, perfectly poached eggs. And that's a big mouthful too, right? Make no mistake, that's delicious. Matt, I just think this is a masterpiece, right? Oh, it's very good. It's so good. And guys, listen, if you're gonna master a couple of things in the kitchen, poached eggs are one of them, and a hollandaise sauce from scratch, you know, you start flexing muscle on that when you got people coming over for brunch, they're gonna think you're a magician in the kitchen with some really, really great culinary technique. Thrilled to spend some time with you. Thanks so much for all of your subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And we'll see you guys next time in the kitchen. Thanks.